All right, everyone, today we're going to deal with limit. So as you can see right now, we have direct limit inside the given example. We have the example one, and this is example two. So let's read example one. Example one, we say lim x cubed plus two x squared minus x plus six, x approached to two. So what does it mean by saying x approached to two? Here, x approached to two, meaning that x equal to 2. So this x approach to 2 is the volume of x. And seeing the limit is direct, so therefore we're going to substitute the volume of x immediately in place of x. So let's say solution. We have your solution. We have your solution. So we need to say equal. Therefore we have in bracket 2 raised to the power of 3 plus 2 in bracket 2 raised to the power of 2 minus in bracket 2 plus 6. So here as you can see here we have here, okay let's say equal again. So we have here 2 raised to the power of 3. 2 raised to the power of 3 here it means 2 in 3 places and 2 in 3 places is going to give us 8. So this is 8. Therefore, we have here say plus 2 in bracket. We have here 2 in two places, so which is going to give us 4. Therefore, we have here 1 times negative, I mean negative 1 times 2 is going to give us minus 2, and here we have plus 6. So here we have here equal. We have here 8, right? Therefore, 2 times 4 is plus. 8 and here we have a negative 2 plus 6 is positive 4. So here we have to say equal again. So 8 plus 8 is 16, 16 plus 4 that is 20. So this is the answer of limit number 1. So let's come to example 2. In example 2, here also we have lim x squared plus 5x minus 4 x approaches 0. So as we said that x approaches 0 meaning that x equal to 0. So this is the meaning that this is mean that the x, the value of x here is 0. So we're going to say also solution. We have a solution. We have a solution. So we're going to say equal seeing the limit is direct. So we have a bracket. 